from where you live. Well, there's our well-defined squall line that's racing north northeastward right now. And the thing is, that out of the past three squall lines we've had around here, uh, one has produced scattered severe weather. The other two have had so much rain in front of them, they've kind of disrupted the line. Well, today you'll notice there's no rain in front of this one, and it did warm up into the 70s, and dew points are in the 60s. And with the dynamics in place, uh, this will produce severe weather in the area as it races through this evening. Tornado watch for the southern half, including the greater Lafayette area. Uh, until 1 a.m., but I wouldn't let my guard down in our northern counties. I still think you could end up with a tornado watch, and you have a threat for severe weather as well. There's the line racing northeastward right now, and you got to watch these little, they look like little lymph nodes in the line, little curly cues, little S shapes in the line, and those are what produce the severe weather, like the tornado warning near Evansville. And we did have a report of tornado damage near Decatur, Illinois. You also have straight line winds with this too, so. It's going to be here. I think by 8 o'clock, this is going to be barreling in to especially the southwest portion of the viewing area, and then it'll race through and get out of here by 11 o'clock. 74 at 7, but then rain cooled 66 at 9. We only dropped to 62 overnight, then we're back to 66 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. The main threat this evening, just scattered a uh, little severe gusts, but I can't rule out. At least a few isolated little tornadoes, EF0 to maybe low end EF1 strength. Now, those are considered weak tornadoes, but still, that's 86 miles an hour up to about 110. So, you still have to watch those. They still produce damage. We'll keep an eye on that. And then scattered showers and thunderstorms even into tomorrow. And if we can get some sun out, we may have a little arc of thunderstorms that'll come through in the afternoon that produce at least some severe weather. On our high risk future cast product, this kind of represents the line blowing through here this evening. And I think by 1230, it's going to be out of here, even though the watch goes until 1 a.m. Still a few scattered showers around and still showers around tomorrow morning. That's about quarter after seven in the morning. This is towards the lunchtime period. Notice right here, this little arc of thunderstorms kind of pivoting around our low that'll be in central Illinois. If we can get a little sun preceding this, this could have a few severe storms with it. And then it races northeastward and we kind of a mix of sun and clouds and just spotty showers and thunderstorms for the rest of the afternoon. And you know, even into Wednesday, notice the clock up here. That's Wednesday morning. This is Wednesday afternoon. Still some spotty showers around. But at least it's not going to be that cold. Temperatures still in the 60s. There's a severe weather threat for the entire viewing area, at least scattered severe weather, uh, right up until the line exits our area. And then again, tomorrow with the low here in central Illinois, there may be a little arc of thunderstorms that produces a, a few severe storms during the afternoon. Future cast rainfall, a good two to three inches for a good chunk of the area, except the west. That looks more like one to two, so localized flooding certainly an issue. 67 though drying out Thursday, 72 Friday. It would cool off a little bit for the weekend, but you know, that's still pretty close to normal. Temperatures around 60 to the lower 60s and overnight lows in the upper 30s to right around 40. We're going to be watching that line all evening, and if there are warnings issued, we will let you know first. Yeah, uh, it felt like something was up when you walked out the door this morning. It felt like spring. Yeah. Pressure's low, the dew points are up, you just you feel something brewing. I had mm -hmm. like five people tell me that today on the street. Yeah. It just something's up. Here. All right, Jed, thanks. Sure, yeah. Some Purdue football reaction tonight. That's right. It wasn't a win, but right. it was a 